Welcome everyone to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to double and triple click the glorious Model O. So my mouse obviously is the Model O. Well, it's very easy to double click. Like I get, I can get double clicks consistently. But you can also triple click it. So you can click it three times, which is just as effective as sometimes even short dragging on this mouse. Which gives you three CPS each time too. Some of you might be thinking, oh, but double clicking and triple clicking is easy. Like, all you have to do is go over to the right click button or left click button, go to three click for triple click. But no, this is a really bad idea. That's pretty much no different to auto clicking. It really is auto clicking. So, this will get you banned and is very much against the rules. So, do not do anything where in the software so you click it once it clicks multiple times that's very bannable as you can see in my hand cam I'm gonna be teaching you how to double click like this and how to triple click and all of this is just as soon as you get the mouse there's one thing you have to do in the software to be able to do this this thing is going to the debounce time here. By default, it will be at 10 ms. So you want to turn it all the way down to 4 ms. And then you're ready to go. But what is double clicking and triple clicking useful for? Well, I would say the most useful one is probably double clicking because it's much easier to do. But triple clicking can be useful too if you get really good at it. So some uses for double clicking and triple clicking. Uh, mainly double clicking is butterfly clicking. I'm not very good at butterfly clicking, clearly. I could only get up to 19 CPS, but some people can get those kinds of CPS consistently, which is really insane. I can only get like 15 kind of consistently, so that's ridiculous. But if you practice that, I don't practice much butterfly clicking. Um, if you practice butterfly clicking, you can butterfly click 20, and it will be really, really good. Another thing you can use double clicking and triple clicking for is bridging so double clicking and triple clicking is good for bridging as you can see I'm not very good at moonwalking with uh, double clicking I'm used to drag clicking if you guys want I can make a tutorial for drag clicking with the Model O Short drag clicking, of course, I can't long drag. And the last thing, is you can put those two together. You can bridge using butterfly clicking, which I'm so bad. I cannot butterfly to save myself. Yeah, but you can do that. Just ignore the 12 CPS. Um, that's just because I'm bad. So now let's get to how to actually do this so now what you want to do is first of all make sure you've got the debounce time set to four milliseconds which is the lowest you can go let's start with double clicking first to double click you want to basically click your mouse in a way that allows it to bounce back up and then it will go down again and hit the click button again i think that's how it works so when you no normally normal click a mouse you have your finger resting on there and you just click it down like that and you just click it down like that you don't lift your finger up at all this makes it so this doesn't allow the mouse to the mouse button to kind of vibrate i'd recommend palm gripping the mouse so then your fingers are completely covering the mouse and then you just kind of tap the mouse there Listen to my click sounds. So you can hear with that that the double clicking sound is kind of like a buzzing. So you want to do that. It's going to take some time to get used to. Kind of just slap your mouse a little bit. And it generally will double click. It's a very easy mouse to double click compared to some other mice. Double clicking will work, like, if you go like, 
like hit the mouse from any other angle. I find it's just difficult and less consistent if you do it like that. But if you go, if you hit it with like a flat, the flat part of your finger, um, I find it easy. Also, I generally use my uh, middle finger for this. I don't know, it's probably because it's fat and really smacks the key or something because it's so fat. That That's my guess anyway. What I do is on the Model O, I, what I do is I have my finger go down this kind of line, slightly going, so kind of so it's diagonally going across like that. So it goes from the really top bit to like the bottom corner there. And that's how I do it. But for double clicking, you can really do it anywhere on the key. It doesn't really matter. It's just triple clicking. I have my preferences. You can probably do it anywhere. It just depends on personal preference. So now let's get on to triple clicking. With triple clicking, the sound, it's like a longer buzz. It's the same sound, but it goes for longer. So I'll let you hear the mouse sounds. It's not much of a difference in length of the buzz, but it is a little bit longer. So you want to, that's how you know if you're doing it right. You just, there's an extra little bit of the buzz on the very end. So basically I grip the mouse exactly the same for triple clicking. I just hit the um, mouse a little bit harder. I don't know why that works, it just does. So say I'm ninja bridging, for example. So I get 9 CPS, that's, he that's how I practice my triple clicking. I just, when I'm ninja bridging, I just try and get keep the CPS at 8 and above. That means you're mostly triple clicking, depending on the speed of your ninja bridge, of course. If you like ninja bridge like this, it's going to be like keeping it at 6. Nobody ninja bridges at that speed, but if you ninja bridge super fast, like, like that, it, it might be like 9 to 12 you have to keep it at. I don't know. But that's how I practice um, my triple clicking. I'd say triple clicking is less practical unless you're really good at it. Because I can't do it consistently, like quick enough to use it for bridging such as like moonwalk or god bridging. But if you get good at it, you probably can. So the reason I do it, I triple click with my hand, like my finger going from here to here on the mouse is just because it's, that's where my finger lies normally. It just seems comfortable for me. I find you can triple click up here as well on the mouse, close to the scroll wheel. I find it very difficult on the, along the outside edge to triple click. I That's what I'd recommend. The outside edges don't double click and triple click it as well, I don't think. That's what I've just found. Anyway, that's basically how to double click and triple click your mouse. I hope this tutorial has helped you um, be able to triple click and double click better. Double clicking, I reckon, is the most useful. It's much like more common to get double clicks when butterfly clicking. As you can see, I'm really bad there anyway, so. One thing I forgot to say in the tutorial is with butterfly clicking, um, some people butterfly click with their fingers up like this, so it's almost like the, the butterfly clicking equivalent of the claw grip for normal clicking. Um, if you go like that, it's extremely hard to get double clicks and then you'll just be stuck at your 13 CPS. You have to like palm grip and have your fingers flat on the mouse. And that will allow you to generate the double clicks required to butterfly click really high CPS. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for everyone. I hope you learned a bit of how to double click what to help you with either bridging like moonwalking breezily or anything like that yeah. so i hope this tutorial helped you and i hope you learned something and i hope
You all have a good day or night, depending on where you are. See ya.